guys welcome back to some more afk arena today we're over on our youtube account and we are looking at the collaboration so over the last couple of years guys we have gotten a lot of dimensional heroes and we have done a lot of collaborations um based on the afk arena youtube channel and the views that we have over there guys we're going to run through the top collaborations per afk arena um that we have actually seen in the past I want to start, of course, looking at heroes like Nakaruru, looking at heroes like Yukio. Um, these were actually some of the very original collaborations that we ever seen within AFK Arena. Um, even going back again on the YouTube channel, I believe when they were released, or I couldn't find the videos, um, that they were not um, they are not over there on the channel. So, so when it comes to the views, again, really can't see these two, but I know Yukio was the one that we had to pay so if you did not purchase Yukio, you didn't have an opportunity to actually use him, but he is still used in very, very niche flora stages. Um, overall, not seeing a lot of progression in there. Now, next one we're gonna look at, guys, is the Prince of Persia. So coming in at 121,000 views over on YouTube, guys, the Prince of Persia, as he was released, really big as a crowd control hero overall again not a lot of utility still waiting that hopefully we can get the dimensional tower sometime soon um it would make a really really big difference with the crossover next one we're looking at which is a, a similar it's kind of crazy is mulan guys now looking at prince of persia they were at prince of persia was at 121,000 views mulan is at 320 thousand views so literally um almost tripling up the prince of persia for the view count over there on the youtube absolutely amazing guys we are starting to see mulan and i know she's going to be available for most players pretty soon but we are actually seeing mulan used in a couple cursed realm comps we are also seeing mulan used in a di couple different pvp comps as the best in slot within those pvp comps now let's next one we look at guys is looking at ezio now ezio very similar to Milan, we are actually still seeing him in a lot of the Brutus comps. We're also seeing him in a lot of different game modes because of his talent to actually finish target. So if a target gets low on health, um, he will actually be the finisher. He will use his ability and kill out the target, which is huge. He was the first hero that we really seen that, that insta-kill. Um, Nara could break low through the shields, um, but when it comes to just straight up execution style, um, Ezio was the one, guys, that really, really got it done. Now, Ezio coming in at 418,000 views over on the AFK YouTube channel, um, making him the, the second most viewed hero, or, or excuse me, the third most viewed hero within AFK Arena. Now, one that I am super disappointed, guys, as we start getting into the double heroes, we have Geralt right here, and we also have Yennefer. So overall, guys, Yennefer is still seeing a little bit of gameplay. Unfortunately, Geralt is not. Now, as much as I love The Witcher, as much as I love the character development, um, they came in at a measly 26,000 views over on YouTube, um, which again is absolutely shocking to me when you look at the statistics or when you look at the numbers, um, only coming in at 26,000 views as a pair of heroes coming from a major series over on Netflix. I thought they would have a lot more than what they did but again, overall, based on the numbers, based on the view count, that is really what we are looking at in this video. Now, we talk about the most popular collaborations that we've seen in AFK Arena. First one being, of course, with Persona 5, guys, it was Joker and Queen. Now, Queen is still being utilized within the five pole. We're seeing her being built um, still, again, utilized in a lot of different formations with AFK Arena. Um, we see her with Brutus and Anasta and Queen. We see her with Skarath and Queen. Um, there is a lot of different formations that she is still utilized in, which if you guys remember way back when, when she come out, she came out, um, I actually built Queen first. Thought it was an absolute mistake because um, at that time upon release, Queen was not being utilized in almost any formations. But as you can see here today, guys, we have a plus 30 signature item, nine of nine furniture, plus 30 engraving. And she is still being utilized in a lot of formations in AFK Arena, including some of the Curse Realm comps, some of the um, campaign comps, still seeing a, a lot of utilization within this hero. Now looking at Joker, now Joker was the counterpoint. Um, he did a lot of damage when he came out. Since then, guys, his damage has really kind of fallen off. You can fit him in formations. Um, a lot of players were running Joker with Gwen when Gwen was actually very popular as well because of the trigger from the stun effect. 
Also seeing Joker running a lot with, with um, the Prince of Persia, again, for the crowd control aspect. Prince of per Persia would alt, making Joker um, do his all for one ability or this all out attack ability, which again, was really, really popular when it came out. But as of now, looking at the combat rating, as we continue to release newer heroes, and the newer heroes are much stronger than some of our older heroes. The power creep has essentially just taken over the hero. And at this point, guys, I do not know any formations that Joker is still being utilized across the board, where again, we are still seeing utilizations um, using Queen. Now, this combination of Joker Queen again came from Persona 5. From Persona 5, guys, over on YouTube, this is 2.4 million views over on the YouTube, making it the second biggest collaboration that we've seen in AFK Arena, and still super stoked that we're seeing at least one of the two heroes um, that we're finding utility in. Definitely worth building Queen out, guys, because again, she is still being utilized in a pretty, uh, quite a few teams. Now, of course, the biggest collaboration that we have ever seen in AFK Arena is Ainz and Elbeto. They have been the absolute monster combination, the, the, the utilization. Guys, when Ainz came out to AFK Arena, he was so incredibly broken. He dominated everything. He dominated the campaign. He dominated PvP. Um, he dominated everything. Just crushed everything that we put him up against. Um, even looking at, as a lot of newer players, guys, when you look at like Solemn Bow, when you borrow a copy of Ainz, Ainz can run things like the Peaks of Time. I'm um, even looking at the Historic Adventures. He can solo them all. It, it's absolutely crazy when you get an Ainz and you get him really, really built. Um, he can be the, the one carry as an earlier player within AFK Arena. Still super, super strong guys on the build. Um, thing with him, similar to what we've seen with Joker, is looking at the combat rating as we continue to kind of power creep um, with the new damage dealing heroes. Um, he actually becomes less and less effective as we continue again, early game, mid game, even getting into some of the later comps. He will still use, and he is, is still used in some formations, but he has fallen down incredibly far within the tier list. Used to be the S++, absolutely number one to build. Now we're seeing him in the in the, the A to B kind of tier list. Again, utility-wise, even PvP, guys, Ainz is not used anymore um, with formations. Tower, if we ever get, and when we get that dimensional tower, guys, could definitely make a big, big difference um, when it comes to building out these heroes and really the utilization aspect. And now his counterpart is Elbeto. Now, guys, we know Elbeto, in my opinion, when it comes to the dimensional heroes, is probably priority number one um, because of her skills and abilities. That is why we have covered her before, guys. The plus 30 signature item absolutely amplifies the attack rating of all dimensional heroes in the formation, which is massive. This is the reason why we are still seeing Albedo in formations with Joan. We're seeing her um, in formations with Merlin because not only do they does she add this, this attack factor in there, but she also does a 25% defensive factor for the dimensional heroes that are in here again an absolute game changer out of the two formations guys albedo is still probably one of the absolute top heroes to build within afk arena um not only that is when you're running things like the barricade on her when you have the three of nine furniture she is a tank she has immunity she does crowd control she has a buffer when you look around all around as a tank she is required in an incredible amount of formations. Even a lot of formations where we've only run one or two other dimensional heroes, Elbeto is still being used, guys. Cursed Realm, again, Elbeto is being used. PvP, absolutely, Elbeto is being used. She is a hero with an incredible amount of utility, which, again, it's good to see one of the two being utilized, which means, again, being in the number one, guys, Ainz Elbeto, they came in at 2.8 million views in AFK Arena making them the absolute biggest collaboration that we have seen year to date or, or in the last four years within this collaboration um, that we've seen overall, guys. Again, Ainz and Albedo dominating it at 2.8 million uh, views over on the YouTube channel. 
So all right guys, so that'll do it for the collaboration. Just wanted to kind of cover, I know a lot of newer players um, might not have some of these dimensional heroes, but it's cool to see where they came from and really where they do rank. Still waiting to see a collaboration that is going to be much bigger than that Ainz and Albedo collaboration. With the popularity of AFK Arena still being a, a pretty core game within the lineup, guys, I, I love the game. I'm gonna cover it until this thing is done which we know could be um, years. We're getting ready for our fourth anniversary. That is right, guys, four years that we've been playing AFK Arena and still loving every minute of it. So guys, let me know in the comments below what is your favorite collaboration, um, what lineup, what utility heroes that you are still using within here. So very cool to see them, guys. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.